This is an instructional video showing you how to use one of our deluxe carbon fiber kits. All the goodies are in the bag. We have uh, the instruction booklet, uh, mold release wax, some gloves, a couple tongue depressors to stir resin with, chip brush, there's uh, this is Silmar 249 and the Catalyst MEKP. Got uh, a couple little mixing, a couple little measuring cups, and a squeegee. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to use acetone and 3M77 spray adhesive and a couple paper cups unwaxed and also a roll of paper towels. First step is to uh, get the carbon fiber out of the bag, unfold it, reorient any fibers that you need to, and then we're pretty much ready to cut it to width. So we've sanded the fiberglass spoiler. Uh, this is a spoiler for a Corvette. I'm uh, just going to do one final wipe down with acetone. Then we're going to take the 3M77 spray adhesive and we're going to coat the spoiler. Roll the fabric over the top of the spoiler, just letting it drape gently on either side. If you're short-handed, rolling it on like this really, really helps. So after you roll that on, then it's just a matter of, you know, gently pressing it into place and letting the spray adhesive hold it to the part. So we went ahead and we did a second coat of fabric. We did a second layer of fabric over the whole thing. So you just spray another layer of, of the spray adhesive and repeat the process over again. Unroll the fabric, turn at the end. And just like the first layer, you know, let it drape gently down and press it into place. And then once you get done, trim off the excess. Try to get as close to the bottom edge as you can. Um, that's the only way you can visually check and make sure that you have a nice tight lamination. Once you get all your excess trimmed off, uh, just give it one last one last press, you know, along the, the bottom edges, make sure it's all adhered well. Uh, on this I used four ounces of Silmar 249 at a time. You use ten drops of MEKP per ounce. So just counted out forty drops into each batch that I mixed up. You want to be careful not to mix too much of the of the resin, uh, otherwise you run the risk of having it catalyzed too quickly and uh, it'll smoke off in your cup. At this point now it's just a matter of going over the entire part with your brush. Um, you know, just gently brush on the, uh, the resin and uh, it helps to to, to pump or stipple with the brush to work to force that resin through the two layers of carbon fiber and uh, have them bond to that fiberglass spoiler. And I'll actually do this probably three or four times getting a good build up. Um, then I'll stop, um, 
you know, I want to build up that that base of resin because the object is to sand it all flush, um, polish it, and have it look nice and smooth uh, like it came out of a mold. Um, a lot of handwork, um, but you can really, really turn out a, a really nice part uh, doing it this way. So just keep coating. Uh, do about three or four, uh, three or four coats. Then let it uh, let the resin harden. You do a sand. Take down your high parts. Take down your high spots, and uh, and then you'll recoat. Sand, recoat, sand, recoat, until you fill all the weave, and uh, and you have something that you can polish. When you're finishing up. Um, and you go to sand to finish. Uh, sometimes it helps to use a, a styrene surfacing wax or spray a coat of PVA uh, to get a good, hard, sandable final finish. Um, and you want to make sure that you go from 320 to 600 to 800 to 1200 to 2000 grit sandpaper and then polish with Aquabuff until it shines.